Welcome to Tea and Token Thursdays, where four toys gather together on Thursdays at four o'clock to talk about the world of J.R. Token and beyond. Enjoy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. You know the drill, and I hate all of you. Meow. Wow, Susie, you seem to get more and more snarky every week. Isn't she always? Anyway, welcome to Tea and Token Thursdays, where we don't just celebrate Tolkien, but we celebrate other fandoms as well. Yep, and since it's Thor's Day, who, hit, who wants to hit Thanos with Stormbreaker? <laughs> yep, me, me. Wow, he deserves to be punched in the face by Captain Marvel. And she won't be alone when that happens. Yep, as they say, Captain Marvel, her movie is getting some rave reviews. All right, for that, I can't wait to see her beat up Thanos. Because that's what she's here for. But, uh, the whole Steve and Tony debacle, they'll have to solve themselves. Because, well, she doesn't have time for their crap. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go there, let's do our theme song. We are the toys, and we're coming to get you, Thanos. So you better watch out, because us Hoy Avengers are coming for you. We will slap you, and we'll scratch your eyes out, and we will stop until you choke to death. Cause we are the Toy Avengers. <sighs> well, we're getting down to the wire, folks. In less than a few weeks, we'll be seeing Captain Marvel in the theaters. And after that, Avengers Endgame. Hooray! <laughs> And then we finally get to see Thanos die! Yeah, and that too. But for now, let's get excited because Black Panther has seven Oscar nominations! Hooray! Isn't that great? Yeah! Superheroes movies rock! The stars Oscar cheated when, when the first Captain America movie was out and they didn't even get a reward. And I will never forget them for that. Bow! Captain America never got any nominations! Bow! I'm sure they're paying for that mistake. Anyway, besides, if Suicide Squad can win an Oscar <laughs> for best makeup, yeah, then I don't see why Black Panther can't win an Oscar as well. Speaking of which, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse is also up for an award in the Best Animated Film category. Good! That'll stop Disney from dominating the Animated Film category. Oh, we can't believe those guys. Every other year is a Disney movie winning the awards. Ugh. Don't you get tired of that? I feel to Disney for not giving those other movies a chance. Meow! Well, Disney may have all the toys, but they can't keep stamping the family-friendly symbol on everything in the world. And that includes Marvel movies, which <laughs> aren't as Disney-friendly as you want to think. Unless you're going for the cartoon versions of the superhero movies. And then that I can understand. Well, but the good news is that if Disney gets 20th Century Fox, like we're all hoping it does, we could be hearing from the Fantastic Four and X-Men in a few years. Yay! Well, that's, that'll be great! So we'll be hearing from them? Yep, it'll be a, in a matter of time we'll be hearing from them. But uh, we can't do anything until we deal with Thanos first. Yep, and that too. <laughs> Normally, I cheer over the good news, news and... Uh, and I am definitely looking forward to seeing the Fantastic Four. I mean, those poor guys just keep getting screwed over and screwed over and screwed over and screwed over and screwed over. <sighs> I mean, enough of them being screwed over. Let's give them a fun movie, one that connects to the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and uh, 
have them bump into Black Panther. I mean, come on. If there's a Black Panther part two, <laughs> they, the, that's how we should introduce the Fantastic Four. Yeah, have them meet Black Panther, just like in that cartoon where they went up against Black Panther. And then, of course, yeah, after after their little fight, he invites him over to his place for dinner, and then they take down the bad guy. Yep, and that too. So, what's so, Humphrey? You say you want to cheer for the good news, and you look forward to seeing Fast and Fantastic Four, but why? Why not X Men? What's wrong with X Men? Wow. <laughs> The X-Men movies kind of range from mediocre to not so great. And, and uh, <laughs> wow. I mean, I've seen, I've seen some pretty good X-Men movies. Wow, the prequel trilogy <laughs> could have been done a little bit better, honestly. But those, the first three X-Men movies, uh, oh, I mean, the third one was pretty lame. Yeah. But, uh, Apocalypse, though, was kind of okay-ish. Wait, wait, wait! Uh, yeah! There is supposed to be a new X-Men movie coming out this year. And then they're gonna do another X-Men movie. <sighs> so, I'm not sure if we can have X-Men doing the MCU. Yeah. But the Fantastic Four need to join the club. But then that means I'll be bringing in the bad guys that you should fight with them. Which could make for a very good idea. I know. But then, of course, <laughs> we still have Spider-Man and Sony to deal with. Yeah. I mean, coming from the success of the Venom movie. <laughs> yeah. They're like, wah. There's no Spider-Man in Venom. It's not gonna work. Well, <laughs> there didn't really need to be Spider-Man for Venom to work. I mean, he's not totally the bad guy per se. But uh, there could be a chance we'll be here in the MCU <laughs> eventually. But uh. I'm pretty, but it's doing pretty, pretty well for a standalone movie. Yeah, I mean, or maybe since Spider-Man seems to be doing so well in the MCU, they're probably not going to let that go anytime soon. No, nope, you're right, they won't. <laughs> okay, now before we get too far, we have another accomplishment to celebrate. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a token movie. <laughs> you see, Carrie? Thank you for reminding us. Now, <coughs> in 2004, Return of the King cleaned house when it won all those awards they were nominated in. Yay! <laughs> but none of the actors were, were nominated. Even though they did a great job with those movies. Bow! What a travesty! Bow! Don't worry. I'm sure those working at the Academy are still kicking themselves in the pants for ignoring such enormous talent. Why would they do that? I feel to them. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. We. They did walk, I mean, the other movies did walk away with a tiny bit of awards, but come on. It was the last in the first Lord of the Rings series. And yes, not only did Return of the King win Best Picture, Peter Jackson finally got the honor that was due when he took home Best Director. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you know, the tear jerky Battle of Five Armies could have done the same thing. But, uh, nope. It would have won all those Oscars except for one problem. What? It was too sad. Yeah, 
too sad. I mean, come on. People are still crying over the Bilbo and Thorin and Phil and Keely and Tario not getting together. Yeah, especially since Keely and Tario would have made a great couple. But both had to ruin everything. Ah, a building hell. Yeah, and a Bilbo. <laughs> I mean, no wonder why that dude didn't get married. I know. He really, really liked Thorin. And then just to watch him die was just too much. That's why he didn't have any rewards. It was so sad. Ah, no more sad movies. <sighs> well, <laughs> you know, as you said before, Carrie, there was a clean sweeping about 15 years ago. Oh my gosh, has it really been that long? Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and that was when the, the Boston Red Sox took home the World Series. Oh, they won the World Series? Yeah. I'm like, wow. That was like a long time ago. So, uh, exactly. So, but a clean sweep? Yeah, well, something uh, like that won't be possible today. Unless, somehow, the powers that be decided that Black Panther wins it all. Well, it should win every award it's been nominated for. And prove to the world that superhero movies are just as great as normal, boring movies. Meow! And if Black Panther does it win, well, somebody's eyes are going to get scratched out. <laughs> well, Susie, stop with the violence. I can't be mean if I want to. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Susie. <sighs> all right, all right. I won't be so mean. But still, Black Panther had better win. Or else. <laughs> well, calling it now, everybody. <clears throat> Black Panther for Best Movie and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse for Best Animated Movie. It doesn't matter what else happens. I just want to see Black Panther winning. And if it wins at all, well, that'll be great. Well, we'll see about that when the Oscars happen this Sunday. So, uh, set your DVRs, folks. Yeah, whatever plans you have for Sunday night, scrap them. Unless it's a major emergency, like, your grandmother needed to have that re recipe cooked yesterday, and nobody got around to helping her. Now, that's a real emergency. Or, you're going to have to clean your house before the inspector comes, because somebody's been running around in it. Ah, shotguns. So, uh, so this Sunday... Prepare for the Oscars. Okay. Now, you all know who I am, and you know what this is about, so peace. Everyone stay awesome, and we'll see you tonight. Good night. Goodbye. Meow. <laughs>